TikTok influencers who call themselves baby name consultants have um, stepped up to offer some pretty pricey assistance to parents who can't be bothered to name their own babies. And uh, some of them are charging upward of uh, $30,000 to do so. Which makes me think that there are some people in this country who just have too much money. 100%. <laughs> right? I mean, the very first thing I thought about this is tax the rich, tax the rich. You're gonna pay $30,000 to some other schlep to pick your baby's name for you. Man, you got some creativity issues, man. So, and you have way too much money. So there's a bunch of these consultants, baby name consultants. Some of them are more affordable, if you will. So let's start with those individuals. So uh, you can find viral TikTok videos that suggest old money names like Carolyn, Elizabeth, Charlotte, main character names, Blaze Arrow Falcon, or aesthetic names, Rowan, Ren, Atlas. Like the names get, I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm gonna offend people. They get worse as that list goes on. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. what is, anyway, I'm just gonna move on. Atlas, really, Atlas, you're gonna name your kid Atlas? Although, I did name my son Prometheus. You did, you did, <laughs> yeah. But you know what, I was ahead of my time and I saved a lot of branding baby money. Mm, good for okay, you, Okay, so you, you know, I, I, I branded my babies without any consultants. I'm an OG online, that's how, that's how I roll. So one of these influencers is named Colleen Slagan, um, and she's the face behind uh, the account Naming Bebe, all right? Now, <laughs> uh, we've got a video on her, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Colleen, and this is part two of a baby name consultation for May and her husband, who are looking for a girl name to go with big sister Anna. They had several items on their wish list. They prefer traditionally feminine names. They want something with significance, either to a family name, to a name from their favorite book series, which included Dune, Lock Tomb, or The Expanse. They like names with a connection to the Hebrew Bible or Greek mythology. And some of their family names include Elizabeth, Estelle, Betty, Doris, or the initials R or L. And with big sister's name being Anna, nothing that recalls Frozen. In my first video, I analyzed their current list of names and gave some alternate suggestions. And now eight brand new ideas for them to consider. Okay, I have it, they should go with Athena. They should think for themselves and no, no offense, Colleen. You <laughs> seem absolutely lovely and I'm not hating the player, okay? I do hate the game though, because it gets worse as this story develops. It's not just about, hey, you know, we're having difficulty choosing a baby name. We also want to start like branding the baby as soon as the baby is born. We're gonna get to that in just a second. Okay, okay. I hope it's not a literal branding. No, 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 because not like I know, I know, but yeah. but like people are so mental these days, you never know. So no, but it, to be fair, your three month old does have to have an excellent brand. Otherwise, how will it do what? It's a three month old, it doesn't need to do anything. But they're building brands, they're unreal. So look guys, I. I get it and I don't get it. So my kids names are, my son's name is Prometheus and my daughter's name is Joy. And if they're gonna have a brand online, Prometheus is kind of badass maybe, although well, of course a lot of people think it's weird. Uh, and Joy is filled with joy and maybe it's gonna, but guys, I, you don't need someone guys to you don't need to pay someone no, and you don't have to worry don't about your brand kids your brand baby, okay don't yes. like don't publicly put out a brand for your kids without their consent without them having any say it's weird 100% it's weird it's 100%. super weird anyway Look, yeah. let them be adults and they can decide what their reputation or their brand is going to be how about that uh, of course. Okay. So anyway, but we're not even we're not even there yet. Okay, we're still talking about the homegirl Colleen. Mm -hmm. We're still talking about her, how much she charges. So let's get into that, uh, because she does not do the branding thing. Okay, mm -hmm. those are other TikTok influencers. So Slagan, that's Colleen Slagan, who we just watched a video of, offers three packages: a video consultation with 16 baby name options for the low low price of ninety nine dollars. An eight name package with extensive name analysis for $175 and 16 name package with name analysis for $250. So far, she estimates she's done close to 100 consultations with some people who weren't even expecting a child at the time. 
So she says, for some people, baby naming is naturally a fun process. And for others, it's actually very stressful because they haven't spent the last 30 years of their lives thinking about baby names. I think it's fun to have someone analyze you and your partner's taste and come up with something that suits you. It's a form of flattery, she says. Okay, so that's what she does. You have a sense of her pricing. I think it is reasonable in the context of people who charge far more, like $30,000. So let's get to Taylor Humphrey, who runs a consulting firm called What's in a Baby Name. And Taylor Humphrey is also a TikToker, of course, who spoke to Vox about this whole, you know, baby naming racket. Taylor Humphrey, who has been name consulting since 2018, also works with actual influencers, bringing in anywhere from $350 for a handful of baby name suggestions to $30,000 for baby name branding, which helps people in the public eye choose a name that reflects their personal brand, as well as other services. So look, I, I'm a public figure and if I, we're gonna have kids and people were asking what I'm gonna name my kids. Um, my whole branding strategy would be to tell people to off. That, that's what the branding <laughs> strategy would be. Yeah? So the reason I brought up my kids is because it, it should have meaning for you, not some rando consultant or not because you wanna do a branding exercise in social media. Like I care about those names because I love those names and they have me that they, they have personal meaning to me, right? But if you're getting some consultant to come up with a personal meaning for you, I don't think that's the right way to go about it. And don't you feel like you should have some ownership over what you're naming your kids? That you should feel like some sort of joy in it, I don't know, proud of it, etc. But these days, the reason why I think this story is so interesting. Is because people are so upset, much more obsessed with what others think as opposed to what they think and what will make them happy, the kids happy. Mm -hmm. They're much more worried about the image of the baby that doesn't even exist yet. And then they're gonna put that pressure probably on, on kids, the baby. Yes. Okay. Yes. There look, I think what's really at play here is the same thing that we see with I'm just gonna pick a random example. Um, sports dads. Right, mm -hmm. dads who wanted to be professional athletes, they didn't succeed, so they put all this pressure on their son. Mm -hmm. You must succeed. You know, they'll be in the dugout and they'll be in their kid's ear, like you're not, you're not performing, like that kind of stuff. Right? That's what I see here. I could be wrong, but that is what I see here. No, but by the way, it exists in so many different ways. There's, right. I'll make up a, a category: violin moms. Okay, those violin moms, man. Yeah, no, people who are like, and I come from immigrant Dance community moms. communities, and the immigrant communities are like, oh no, the kid has to play great violin or piano or this or that, and they have to be, you know, there's all these this resume you have to have in order to impress other people, right? Uh, other parents in the community, people in social media. And notice they said that it has to reflect their own personal brand. But wait a minute, the babies don't even exist, so we don't know what their brand is. Ah, you're talking about the babies reflecting the parents' exactly, personal brand. Exactly, exactly. And and if you don't realize that's obnoxious, <laughs> got bad news for you. The rest of us don't love that. I'm just so sick of hearing about brands and branding mm -hmm. and personal branding exercises. Like it's just so incredibly annoying, like endless marketing, endless self marketing. Mm -hmm. I just, they're kids and honestly, I mean, I don't know. I'm a little bit extreme when it comes to public stuff pertaining to people's children, especially mm -hmm. like, look, Parents should be able to make those decisions for themselves and I'm not gonna be judgmental. I'm just talking about what I would do if mm -hmm. I were in their position. I, I, as a public figure, like I would feel uncomfortable posting images, even posting images of my kids, you know? No, I know and that's why, uh, look, we don't have our kids on social media. We try to almost never post pictures, this couple it's out there. It's hard, I get that yeah. it's hard. Cuz you want It's like you have to be super vigilant and sometimes the kids look so cute and you want to put up a mm -hmm. picture and then you you know, you do it. But, but we're basically 
semi hiding them, right? Uh, and because it's a, it's honestly a world out there, right? And so, like, and and we did a story uh, a little while back about the kids who were social media stars. Like, you remember how kids used to be like movie stars, mm -hmm. TV stars, child stars, and that really screwed them up, and they'd get into cocaine and they go in a you know terrible direction and they never recover. Well, now it's happening in a different way online, and so. It's this time kids are making so much money for their families. I know. That their parents are forcing them to keep doing it even when the kids don't want to do it anymore. And by the way, even if you don't have the situation like we do where there's folks who like me, there's folks who don't like me. And so I'm worried about my kids mm -hmm. being online because of that context, right? And eventually they're gonna be, and then I'm gonna be really, really worried, right? For you know what kind of interactions they're gonna have. Um, but then there's the guys who are, you know, basically costing their kids their childhood. Yes, exactly. by making them do basically child labor, right? And sometimes the kids love it because they get famous. Sometimes they love it because they have all these new toys and money and and the house that comes with it. But at some point, they don't love it so much, right? Especially for kids, because you know what happens online? People do vicious criticism. And it's hard to handle as an adult, let alone when you're a kid and they're making fun of your looks or something else. Oh, it's brutal out there. So be careful, be really careful. I don't want to stress you out either, because at some point your kids are going to have to go online. But if they're you're not famous or they're not famous, trust me that that's a blessing in disguise. Oh my God, it's like a very big blessing, not even yeah. in disguise. Like, what's the upside of fame? In today's economy, really, yeah. What, what is yeah. the upside of it? Yeah. So I so fame does not translate to wealth the way it did back in the day. These days, fame translates to constant fear of someone finding you and harming you, right? Yeah. Because they don't like you for whatever reason. Um, not being able to be out in public in peace, depending on how famous you are. Like, there's so many downsides to it. Yeah, well, look, uh, there is basically three uh, upsides to fame, and a lot of them are gone now. So, number one um, was the money. I interviewed Norman Lee, her legendary TV producer. I asked him, "When did you know you made it?" He had had seven out of the top ten TV shows of all time. Uh, I'm sorry, at the same time, seven out of the top ten, which is unbelievable. Never going to be equaled again, right? And I said, so what I know it wasn't then, because at that point you're at the pinnacle, but when? He's like, what do you mean? The very first TV job I had, I became enormously rich, right? It was already over after the first job. That industry does not exist anymore, okay? So in online world, you have to like crawl your way up through broken glass, right? And so you're not, some people, if they get to the very, very top, might get super rich. But even if you're a lot of people who are famous, like not in news or politics, like in general YouTube, Instagram, etc., a lot of those folks they don't make that much money. So a lot of those people who get a woman who get famous on Instagram, this is a sick story. But I read about how they go to the Gulf and basically sell themselves to Aww, Saudi princes and stuff, on. and they the amount of money they get is based on. How big their following is on Instagram. Okay, so like this is the sick stuff that it's getting, like that's how they're having to convert it to cash, right? Because it's it doesn't equal cash anymore. So that's gone. Not all the time, but most of the time. And for guys, the dream was when you were a kid, oh, you get famous, you get all these girls. Well, these days, if you don't like that could be a disaster in a couple of different ways, right? So I was kidding around about when I was in DC over the weekend, um, two weekends ago, uh, that I, I'm now officially famous because wherever I go, uh, someone always recognizes me. And what I don't mean that in a good way. Like in the old days, people would, when people started recognizing me, I thought it was like the greatest thing in the world. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And people would always say positive things, right? And we would hug and we'd exchange great things, etc. But now whenever I go out, somebody's always watching. Yeah, right? exactly, like you can't just, you know, just be yourself. Like let's say I'm out with my friends and we're drinking and we're acting a little, you know, 
wild. Yeah. Not doing anything crazy or illegal, but just you know having a good time. There's always that thought in the back of your head that there are people who are watching and they know who you are. And who knows if they're gonna snap a photo of you and, and put out something that, that looks bad, but isn't actually bad. You know what I mean? Like I think about all of those things as I'm out in public and it sucks. Totally, and so, and, and I was eating dinner and this is when I feel like I crossed the Rubicon. And there was this really attractive young woman who was kept looking at me. She was standing and I was sitting eating my food by myself. I was trying to grab a quick bite, it was, but it was at a nice restaurant around the corner from my hotel. And she's dressed up really nice and she just keeps looking at me. And I'm like, that doesn't happen to me, right? And I'm like, oh shit, it's because she recognized me. Mm -hmm. And in the old days when I was a kid, if you told me that, I'd be like, yes, right? Now it's nothing but trouble, right? I'm not gonna do anything, but if somebody takes a picture of you talking to an a attractive woman, then everybody's gonna misinterpret, blah, 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 right? So there goes that upside. Oh yeah. So, so there's like, there's nothing left, right? <laughs> Except the hassle and the, you know, and the terrible things that right wingers do that you guys never hear about because we try not to talk about it because we don't wanna encourage it, etc. So, that's the new world, but people can't help it. It's instinctual, they just, wanna be famous. Just let your kids be kids, please. Just let them live, let them be kids. It's really, really important. 100%. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.